I was trying to figure out, like, you're going, you're like, I go to the six, I go to the two, I go to the seven. Are you memorizing those numbers in the beginning? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Um, understanding the number system comes with a level of memorization. But it's also important to know that memorization, when it comes to learning songs, really what we're focusing on is the temporary memory. You know, it, it, not everything we learn, not every song we learn is going to make its way back to the long-term memory. I have learned, gosh, probably thousands of songs in my lifetime. 90% of those I've completely forgotten. And that's important. Not everything you learn is going to stay in the long-term memory. You know, and so what we train ourselves to do is to recognize patterns. The patterns is what stay. And so if someone gives me a song that I learned 10 years ago and I've forgotten, I can quickly relearn it because I have been practicing pattern recognition for, the, for many years. So when you're learning a new songs, try to learn it using the numeric system from the get-go, right? right? Eventually, after a while, it's going to become very easy for you to switch from chord letters to chord numbers. That's what I mean. When you're, yeah. when you're struggling with actually remembering the next thing to go to, do you are you remembering a number? Are you remembering a chord? Because basically I'm just watching your hands and it's kind of making sense because I know the melody really, really well. Yeah. What the next chord is. So if I make a mistake, I know that I'm off. But the number is not popping in my head first. And I so, don't know if So so that that's 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 where the pattern comes in. When we talk about pattern recognition. Pattern recognition in ear training is all in, in song learning is also linked to ear training. So sometimes for me, I can hear the number where the chord is supposed to be going. Right? So yeah. that sort of pattern recognition process, it takes time and it sort of develops on its own, as long as we're continuing to focus on on that part. But when I'm learning a song also, if I'm learning a song in a specific key, I'm thinking duality i'm thinking numbers and i'm thinking letters as well right okay so i'm thinking okay the six comes now which is a minor or the two comes now which is d minor so i'm thinking both and so i'm memorizing pattern i'm memorizing numbers and i'm memorizing memorizing letters when we have to change the key now then i have to think complete numbers because the key change i can't think letters anymore so okay. then I start to think numbers, but I'm also associating numbers to sound. And that's where the pattern comes in. Okay. So when you're playing a chord, don't just say, oh, it's an A minor. Think about, okay, I'm going to the six. I'm going from the one to the six, which is A minor. And this is what it sounds like. So you're keeping that ear open, that musical ear to hear pattern. And like I said, the pattern recognition doesn't just come, it takes time. You probably need to hear it 50 times, that specific pattern, before it becomes imprint into the brain. And one of the reasons why I'm able to play songs so quickly, efficiently, in any key, is because all these patterns I've heard thousands of times, so I can hear them. But that's the way you approach learning. That's what we call the conceptual learning. You're not just thinking letters. You're thinking numbers. And you're also trying to listen for pattern. So let me ask, when you when you started, though, in the beginning, long mm -hmm. time ago, like many, many years ago, and you were like, I like this song. I just want to play this song. Did you know the numbers? And were nope. you thinking about the numbers when you practiced? I didn't know any of this stuff. Um, a lot of the sort of the concise methods as to how to approach song, I kind of learned over years along the way, a lot of trial and error. And one, one, of the, one of the reasons why I have learned how to solidify learning songs is because I teach. And so when you teach, you have to figure out shortcuts so people don't waste time. But a lot of this stuff, I remember trying to learn total praise years ago, beating my head against the wall because I could not figure it out. Because here's the thing, even though I have a degree in music, my degree's in classical piano performance. I learned everything from a score. 
Mozart, Beethoven. So learning all this fancy chord stuff and jazz and playing by ear, I was doing that sort of outside of my structured learning. So a lot of it was just trial and error. But here's the thing, from early on, I always try to approach things methodical. The idea of someone showing me something and I just going back and reproduce, it wasn't enough for me. I always wanted to understand why it worked, how it worked, so I can memorize it. That's just how my brain works. I got, I got to see the magic behind the, the screen if it's going to make sense for me. So every time I learned something new, I would say, is there a way I can conceptualize it so it makes sense? So then if I have to move it, move it to a new key or a new song, I kind of understand what I'm doing. So I've always approached learning songs that way. Now, some songs I've come across that I really like, and it was just difficult. I had to just put it on the shelf. Not everything I was able to learn, even though I liked it. It was so I just wasn't ready yet, skill-wise, to approach it. Put it on the shelf, come back a year or two later, and then it made total sense. And so you'll find that you may come across some songs that you may have to do that with, and that's completely fine. Mm -hmm. But what I have learned is that as long as we, we continue to approach learning a specific way with understanding what's happening in mind, you get quicker at the process. And so that's why I'm not a fan of rote learning, where someone show you something and you just go back and reproduce it and practice it, practice it, and then you say, you get it. But you may get it here, but you don't get it here. And so when the muscle memory goes, what you just learned goes because you didn't sort of try to understand the reason behind what is happening.